channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm so excited for today's video. We're doing my second trimester recap. Um, I am getting over a little cold right now, so I probably sound a little congested, but anyways. So the whole second trimester, each week I made a note in my phone and I wrote down like different symptoms or like things that started happening or like things I did um, just to document it all and then make this video one so I can look back on it, but then also just to kind of update you guys on what is currently going on. It's finally March, I'm doing May, I cannot believe we're gonna have a baby in the next two months. That's literally insane. I feel like I've been pregnant for like four years at this point, but then when I think about there only being two months left, I'm like, well, maybe we can extend it a little bit, you know, but like at the same point, I'm really ready to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> so it's like a double-edged sword. So I started writing down notes at 13 weeks and I'm going to read you guys each note from the week and then at the end of the video I'll just kind of talk about some like other stuff that kind of just went on during the second trimester um, that I might not have wrote down. I'm not going to lie, pregnancy brain is the worst and I would forget to write things down and then not remember like what week it went to or whatever. So 13 weeks, I found out the gender of the baby. We did an early gender um test we did one of those ones where you go to like a private ultrasound tech i know in my area i think there's like three different studios that do them so basically it's just an ultrasound tech who like starts her own business and then they do like gender reveals they do like 3d 4d all that stuff so we went to her 13 weeks on the dot um because we we're actually going home that week for thanksgiving and when we were going to tell everybody we were pregnant so we wanted to also know the gender um, we did find out it's a boy, obviously, and I think if it wasn't a boy, if it was a girl, we might not have told people only because I feel like it's harder. Like, most people will get mistaken that they're having a girl and ends up being a boy, whereas a boy, it was very obvious that it was a boy. So I think, like, yeah, if it was not as sure, we wouldn't have ended up telling people early. But yeah, we did tell people. We didn't, like, announce it on social media, like, what we were having um i wasn't really posting much which we'll get into but yeah we told people like in person and whatnot um at 14 weeks i actually did my early glucose test my dad has diabetes so they wanted me to do an early one just to make sure everything was okay um i actually have my next like the real one this coming like next week this week or next week whatever my next appointment is um i'm doing my regular one hour glucose test I already did the regular one hour one. I obviously passed it back at 14 weeks, but they want to test me again at the normal time just to make sure everything is still good. It really wasn't that bad. I drank the orange flavor. I think it was orange. Yeah, which thank God because I don't like fruit punch. Um, and it literally just tasted like a very sugary drink. It wasn't like gross. I didn't want to drink it. It wasn't cold either, which I wish it was but it was fine and I felt fine after thankfully I know some people like pass out or throw up um luckily I did not but I am kind of nervous to do it again just because I've been feeling nauseous again which we'll get into also I forgot to mention a lot of people say your morning sickness and all that stuff stops once you hit the second trimester that was not true for me obviously everybody's pregnancy is going to be different and everybody's symptoms and whatnot but I actually wrote down the last time I've thrown up so I'll tell you guys when that was when we get there but at this point, I was still very not feeling well. Um, like, I would have morning sickness a lot, which it wasn't just in the morning. It was really whenever. Um, when 13 weeks when we went home for Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving, I didn't really feel good. I didn't eat that much. And then when we drove back, I threw up in the car because it was a road trip. And yeah, so at this point, I still wasn't feeling the best. I was still feeling very sick, which I talked about in my first trimester video. So... And then from 14 to 21 weeks, I don't have anything written down. Um, I'm going to be honest. Well, that was also like during Christmas time. Um, I was home for a few weeks. I ended up getting a cold when I was home for Christmas. Um, the girl I flew next to, next to on the plane was from like London. She was flying back to London. And she was literally coughing up a storm and so sick. And I was so nervous. So I was like, this is like an international situation here. Like I was having like, I don't know. I was just, but yeah, I ended up getting sick. It was whatever. I, um had christmas and whatnot i just didn't really write down much i don't feel like anything really happened during that period besides like i still had morning sickness i still felt nauseous just a lot throughout the day i was tired 
But besides that, I didn't feel pregnant, like nothing else was happening. Has this string been out this whole time? <laughs> but yeah, so nothing crazy. But then 21 weeks is actually the last time, knock on wood, please, that I've thrown up so far. So that's kind of when things started to take a turn for me. It was like 20 to 21 weeks is when I finally started to feel better for majority of the day. I still have a little bit of morning sickness at certain periods like sometimes i'll just wake up feeling kind of nauseous but it'll go away but it wasn't it's not the same kind of nauseous anymore i don't really know how to explain it but when i was in the thick of it like actually throwing up the nausea was like debilitating like you're gonna throw up there's like no way around that whereas right now when i'm getting nauseous it's more just like kind of quick it comes in waves and it's like maybe i ate too much or i didn't eat yet like it's not as serious and i can definitely eat way more at this point like at the 20 to 20 week mark i was able to actually start eating foods that i liked like yogurts and my protein shakes and all that stuff um i'm sorry if this video is like jumpy because as i say things i think back to other things so up until this point like eating and drinking water and stuff was just so hard and i just like nothing sounded good i literally ate bagels i think for like breakfast lunch and dinner every single day for like weeks straight literally at people at my job were like girl you're going to turn into a bagel because it's all you're eating because i could just eat like plain and like obviously bagels are carbs so it like fills you up which obviously you should be filled up on protein but i the thought of eating meat or drinking a protein shake or eating greek yogurt or like anything like that was literally i could vomit i did vomit so i wasn't <laughs> And also at 20 weeks, obviously, I didn't write this down, but I had my anatomy scan. I took my half-baked photos, which I actually have a whole vlog on 20 weeks. I finally had started picking back up the camera and wanting to vlog this journey around 20 weeks, which I'm really glad that I'm doing that now because now I have stuff to look back on. I didn't have the easiest first, like, weeks up until then where I didn't want to vlog. So I didn't really make TikToks or post on Instagram or vlog or anything. So finally at 20 weeks was when I started to, like, be back on social media so yeah so 21 weeks threw up but that's fine because that was the last time as of now but then my sciatic nerve started hurting so bad this week um literally driving because like it's the left side but then you're using your right foot like on the pedal not fun not fun at all um and i actually had previous sciatic nerve problems from lifting i've been lifting since like 2019 and whenever i would like deadlift or do Okay, my camera got me off and I forgot what I was saying, but it did go away, I think around 23 weeks so far, and I'm now 28, and I haven't had it back since, which, yeah, it might come back, um, honestly, not the worst pain to deal with, we'll get into other stuff. And the last thing I wrote for 21 weeks is that people started noticing my belly, like, at work and stuff. Um, at this point, I was still wearing, I was wearing maternity work pants, but I was still wearing my regular work shirt. It still fit, and it was, like, oversized. Um, but people finally started to, like, notice a little belly, which was kind of exciting, because I feel like for the longest time, I just looked like I was on my period. Like, I didn't look, like, I think if I was going out, like, I didn't look pregnant. I just kind of, like, looked bloated then we have 22 weeks and this is where things kind of took a turn for the worst um i started experiencing pelvic pain this week um it's called like pubic dis something i don't know how to pronounce it um it literally is like the weirdest sensation pain whatever um it literally just happened out of nowhere one day i was just at work and it almost felt like my downstairs area was like sore in a way but like the bone not like the inside this is so i don't know how to explain it and i was trying to ask people if it's normal like this is like my problem so it's like how do i explain what i'm trying to explain right now um so i just kind of like went on throughout the day whatever and then when i started to get into bed and if you've had this before you will know exactly what this means when you get in bed and you're trying to like turn from one side to the other it is the worst pain ever down there and i don't know why i don't know like what i literally don't know um and then walking up and down the stairs and i have a two-story house so that sucks putting on my pants putting on my shoes like all this stuff so i started like looking up and those are all symptoms of pubic dis whatever whatever it's called um and it's basically just the like ligaments and stuff are softening to obviously prepare your body to have a baby and sometimes it just like 
is too soft and then you just get pain and it's like literally the weirdest thing um i saw some people post about like pelvic floor therapy um like stretches you can do i did try and do some of it but honestly it was like hurting really bad where they were just hurting to do those stretches i will quickly spoiler alert this week when i was sick i was off work all week and i literally laid in bed like majority of the day and it hasn't been hurting nearly as much so i definitely think that if you have a more sedentary lifestyle it probably wouldn't be as bad but i work full time and back then i was still working like doubles and stuff i try not to do that anymore but i was so i was on my feet for like 12 13 14 hours five days a week i also have student teaching placement hours i have to do so like i'm in the classroom and yeah just like a lot of my on my feet so i tried to cut that back a lot but it started at 22 or 21 weeks and has not gone away since but i am thankful because i've been able to like live with it this far and i know some people will say it gets like excruciating so i'm just praying that i can stay like where it's at where it's like manageable and like sometimes it hurts really bad but sometimes it's like fine so yeah that part is not fun and what really sucks about this is at this point i kind of stopped working out like i said i've been lifting since 2019 i love working out i've worked out like five days a week consistently um and when i first got pregnant i stopped because i was so sick like vomit wise but i knew once i like felt better i completely wanted to you can continue weight training throughout my entire pregnancy it's obviously one so good for your body to prepare you for labor for afterwards to keep your muscles etc but once this started to happen i really can't do legs um there's like maybe two movements i can do um and i know i can still work out upper body but i just haven't i've kind of lost like all motivation and will to work out because not being able to do your normal stuff just kind of is depressing which i know is like a bad way to look at it but i'm just keeping it real here so that has definitely hurt my mental health because exercising and working out was the one thing that i looked forward to every day and obviously that on top of your body growing and getting bigger and then you not working out anymore it's kind of like <laughs> but but at 22 weeks i also heard baby's heartbeat on the doppler for the first time so i do have like a at home little fetal doppler and i had tried to use it before and it never i can never find the baby's heartbeat with it but i wasn't too discouraged because i do have an anterior placenta and even at the doctors like i've watched them like struggle to find it because having an anterior placenta just makes it a little bit harder and then also like not knowing where he was at obviously i don't know where to find a baby's heartbeat i was kind of like watching like tiktoks and stuff but for the first time at 22 weeks i finally was able to find and hear it i honestly haven't used my doppler since then i've heard a lot of negative stuff about them just because it can worry people and whatnot so i kind of tried not to use it most of my pregnancy but the experience of getting to use it and then hearing the heartbeat and then i videoed i'm so sorry <laughs> and then i videoed it and now i have that forever was really cool but i honestly probably won't really use it again i'll probably end up giving it to another expecting mom because i just don't really feel the need for it anymore especially now that i'm so far along and i can actually feel him moving it's like i feel like the fetal doppler is more like in the early stages where you're like am i actually pregnant like i don't obviously don't feel anything you're not showing and whatnot but now that i like feel him moving it's like yeah i'm pregnant obviously and that brings me to 23 weeks where i felt baby's kicks on the outside for the first time so like i said i have an anterior placenta which just means it's on the outside of baby so it's a little bit harder to feel him move and whatnot um yeah that's the only thing is it's harder to feel him move and then being like a first time mom on top of that it kind of sucked because i was like i don't know if i'm feeling him move i don't know if i should be feeling him move and like you always watch these tiktoks where it's like i didn't feel my baby move and then this happened it's just like scary so i tried to just like pretend that wasn't a thing but yeah so what i mean by feeling on the outside is like up until now i think around like 19 weeks maybe 20 i was feeling like flutters on the inside they weren't like huge they kind of just felt like gas bubbles like it wasn't like a that was a kick but it was but at this point if i put my hand like on my belly when he kicked i like felt like it like hit my hand like it was like crazy it's the craziest thing it's like feel it on the outside versus feel it on the inside and it was very like defined and whatnot so 
we have that and then i started having to pee every single night in the middle of the night at 23 weeks which is kind of random but i don't know if it's because i finally started drinking more water because at this point like i said i finally liked water again it was really hard for me to drink water up until this point um i started drinking with like crystal light packets or like flavor packets or liquid iv and then i finally was able to actually drink at least one a day i also got a new water thing i was using the um, simply modern like stanley dupe but i wanted this is the hydro jug one that is like completely spill proof and the straw goes inside of it this is not sponsored literally at all just telling you guys why i got this so it literally does not spill at all and i got it because using the flavor packets i could like put it in here and then mix it up and it's also a little bit bigger i think my simply modern was like 30 ounces and i think this one's like 40 something i don't know but yeah i ended up buying a new water bottle which helped me get back into drinking water and so i don't know if that's why i had to get up every single night to pee but i'm telling you guys i was getting up at least like twice a night and then that on top of the pelvic pain was so horrible because getting in and out of bed is the hardest part of having this pelvic pain so then having to do it in the middle of the night and then trying to get comfortable again and then going back to sleep and it was just like at 23 weeks my sleep like my sleep quality just started to go down and it has not picked back up but yeah i know a lot of people say like wait until the baby's here your sleep is gonna suck but honestly i think i'm more excited for waking up in the middle of the night with a baby than waking up because of my pain so i don't know and then i also did get a pregnancy pillow around this time as well i don't remember which week but i did get one and has changed my life love that um and then also for 23 weeks i wrote that i have this weird ripping sensation question mark round ligament pain question mark so i always hear people talk about round ligament pain i don't know what that is i've googled it and i think that might be what i'm trying to explain but also then i hear some people talk about how it feels like cramps and this is not what it feels like so it's only when i'm like laying in bed and i would like go to sit up and it would feel like almost like where my like the outline of like your abs would be like it was like a tug and it like almost felt like something it was like ripping but it wasn't like painful it was like uncomfortable and like a like that was weird i don't know how to explain it and i've tried to like talk to other people about it and they're like we don't know what you're talking about um but it kind of went away i feel like once in a blue moon now but during like 23 and 24 weeks i felt it like almost every single day it was so weird it might just be my stomach growing because that's when like my stomach really started to like pop out more was around 23 weeks so i'm thinking it might have just been the skin and whatnot stretching but that was a really weird sensation <laughs> and then at 24 weeks i actually started to get stretch marks so i think that's kind of like correlates back to that so yeah i started to notice right around underneath my belly button that if i like pulled my skin up there was marks but it was only if i like, pulled my skin up and i was like not been told i'm not gonna lie i really didn't do belly care i had bought what did i have oh yeah i had um the little bio oil and i was using that but i honestly did not use it consistently i did not use it twice a day i did not use it every day um so once i started to notice these marks i was like i panicked and i bought like four things off amazon but honestly i don't know they've gotten more defined and more of them up until now and i'm just gonna be real here i obviously don't feel my best with them i obviously didn't want stretch marks nobody really does um but i know it's just a part of the process and there's not really much you can do about it i am using like a vitamin e oil and stuff but i kind of just accepted the fact that i'm gonna have them and that's just that so yeah 25 weeks i put my sciatic pain stopped i feel like it stopped before that but yeah 26 move 26 weeks i put i want to sleep in 24 7 it started getting really hard to wake up like literally really hard i'm not gonna lie the days that i don't work or i don't have to go to school for my student place student teaching hours i literally sleep in until like 10 or 11 but i also been having a hard time going to bed and a hard time staying asleep so i don't feel as guilty about sleeping in so late because it's really hard for me to go to bed and it's really hard for me to have good quality sleep but it's just funny because everyone says in the first trimester you have no energy the second one you have all your energy and the third you have none and then coming towards the end of my second trimester i was like yeah i just want to sleep again so there's that and i also put lots and lots of movement so i finally could like feel him more 
actively. Um, I think up until like 26 weeks, I'd fail him when I was laying down in bed, but it'd be like a tiny bit. But now, he'd just be moving in there. Like I feel him right now sitting here. I feel him in different positions, like when I'm sitting or standing, driving. Like I didn't feel any of that before. So yeah, now I feel him a lot more. And then also I wanted to include, I'm about to be 28 weeks. So technically this is my third trimester. But I finally got on video him moving. I think I'll put it on the screen. I don't think everyone will be able to tell. I feel like it's one of those things where it's like your body so you can see it. I don't know if it's like as noticeable if you're watching the video. But I think I finally caught him moving from the outside. And that is everything I wrote up until then. But I just kind of wanted to go over how the second trimester has been like mentally, physically, all that stuff. Um, just really quickly, so I think when I finally started to feel better and not as sick, I definitely felt so much better, but I'm not gonna lie, I just do not feel like myself at all, and I know some people love being pregnant, I'm just not one of those people, I just, I think that if I didn't have, like, the pelvic pain and I could work out consistently, it might be a, a different story, but because I feel like I have to rest as much as I can, because if I don't, then it hurts really bad to even just walk. I don't want to go on walks. I don't want to work out. I don't want to go shopping. Like, I don't want to do anything because it hurts. So, that part just kind of, I feel like it's putting another mental, like, block on all of this. Whereas, if you weren't experiencing that, it's obviously probably a lot different of an experience. But, yeah, there's that. I just wish I was able to work out again. I really miss that. I am always out of breath, especially right now because I'm getting over my cold. I'm very congested. So it's hard to breathe and I'm like obviously being pregnant on top of it. Also, we obviously started the nursery. That's where I'm filming right now and I'm doing a whole like vlogging series of making the nursery and stuff for you guys. So we have that, which was really exciting in the second trimester. But I think that's pretty much it. I am just excited to obviously have my baby here soon and have my body back because I just don't feel like myself. I feel like I don't do anything that I used to do and enjoy for one reason or the other, like working out, reading, which I don't know why I still am in this reading slump, but yeah, there's just like that stuff. But I'm also excited because the third trimester is springtime and I'm excited for the sun to finally start coming out and be able to spend some more time outside and hopefully spend the last few weeks being pregnant in like a good fun mood just eating like you know all the cold fruits the shaved ice sitting outside in the sun i'm excited for all that so hopefully that all happens because right now it's so gloomy outside and depressing and sad but yeah i'm excited for all the vlogs to come in these last few weeks because we have so much coming like i'm gonna do a baby registry haul because my baby shower is at the end of this month i'm gonna do a baby shower vlog i'm gonna do all my nursery vlogs my cat is climbing this ladder right now are you literally kidding me okay this is what's in front of me right now he's literally on the ladder but i think that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i'm getting so many nice messages and comments from you guys and i really appreciate it and if you are also around the same time that i'm pregnant and you make videos let me know because i've been loving watching other people like around the same timeline and seeing like all their stuff so yeah that is it for today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one